Hey guys, Steph, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. So in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are gonna be trying out a whole load of new makeup from Primark. I have been like buying loads of different bits and pieces over the past couple of weeks and I don't have quite a full face. I don't have a foundation. I think I don't have a foundation and a bronzer, but otherwise I have everything from eyeshadow, a million highlighters, primers, brow products, basically everything but foundation and bronzer. And yeah, if you guys do like these videos, then make sure you give it a thumbs up. Like I said, let me know what video you guys wanna see next in the comments. And if you aren't already, because only half my audience are, please consider subscribing because it does make me very, very happy and it's free. It's totally free. So just click the button, turn on notifications. I feel like we're getting back in the algorithm ever so slowly. So thank you guys so much, but yeah now that you've done all the things, now that I've done another terrible intro, let's get into the video. Honestly, why am I so bad at intros? It's like the one thing that pretty much stays the same throughout every video that I've ever done. And I'm still bad at it. <laughs> okay, putting on my ears. I was out in town earlier and obviously got myself the basic bitch iced coffee and I got some new earrings as well. Nice little dangly things. I'm sure I'll like show you guys on stories or whatever. I'm not gonna go and do some close-ups of my ears. It's a bit weird, but yeah, got a whole new little of them. Yeah. So first for primer, I'm gonna be using this guy here. This is the CBD primer and it cost me four pounds. I got this from the skincare section. They have a bunch of different products like this. It says it's calming, moisturizing, vitamin E, and I'm just gonna rip it out of the box like a I don't know. What, what, so it looks like this, and as you can see, it's a nice little squeezy tube. Just kind of looks like a moisturizer. It's got a nice little smell to it. it. Smells kind of like, just kind of smells like plants, to be honest. Quite like it. This feels nice. It feels really, really good, actually. And yes, I've been squeezing my face, leave me alone. I literally have a very important shoot in like two days, and I'm squeezing my face, and I, <laughs> why do I do that? Why do I just, can't think of the word. Sabotage, why do I sabotage myself so much? This feels really, really good. It's hydrating, it's not like pilling up on my skin or anything like that, because I do already have a moisturizer on. It's giving me a nice little glow. Two thumbs up. So now I never used to do this, but since I've been like slicking my eyebrows up like a werewolf, I do like doing my brows if not first, like pretty early on in my makeup. So for my brows today, I have the Brow Emergency Kit, which cost me £2.50. I haven't seen any new brow products from Primark for a while. If you guys are new here, then hello. Let's, let's shake hands, come on. That was a beautiful moment. But if you guys are new here, then I am so, so into the skinny brow pencil that Primark do. That stuff is so, so good. And I don't know if this has like a color in particular, like I can't really, doesn't really seem to say if it's like blonde, brunette, black, no idea. But the pencil does look quite light. If anything, it looks more like a lip liner to me. Oh, actually. I mean, it's not my brow color, but it does look like quite a universal shade just to like fill in a couple of gaps. I'm kind of looking at that and thinking, lip liner or fake freckles. Yeah, the kit comes with that pencil, this little spoolie here, a set of tweezers, which I almost dropped on the floor, and then this brow gel here, which to be honest, is the main reason why I got this. I don't really tend to use color products on my brows that much anymore, just because they, they're doing all right by themselves. Like they are, they have plenty, but I am always keen to try out different brow gels. This one doesn't necessarily claim to do anything in particular, but I just want to kind of see what it'll do for me. So I'm gonna slick my brows up a bit with this. Don't know how long that's gonna keep my brows like this. Like I feel like if I touch them, then they are just gonna go all over the place. But I'm pretty happy with how that looks. It's just, it's just a standard brow gel, to be honest. I would, I mean, I would use this for my eyebrows like I am right now, but I would also use this for like little baby hairs. Just slick them down. Like cheap brow gels are so, so good at getting rid of baby hairs. Okay, that'll do. That's, you know, pretty standard, but it's £2.50. And you get some tweezers, let's see what these are like. Will you be able to grab my hairs? I mean, they're getting my little teeny tiny hairs. That's not a bad kit. I mean, £2.50, you get tweezers, you get a spoolie, you get the brow gel slash baby hair remover stuff, and a brow pencil that, you know what, I probably won't use on my brows, but I'll probably use it on my lips or for freckles, so. Yeah, I feel like that's a pretty good kit. So now I'm gonna do some eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of the P. Louise base all over my eyeballs. Ooh, it's a little bit runny. I should have 
squished it around a little bit more. So the eyeshadow palette that I'm gonna be using today is this one here. This is called the Cosmic Connection Eyeshadow Palette. Cost me seven pounds. And hopefully if you can see without all the reflection, it looks like this. And where's Capricorn? Us Capricorns can never catch a break, I swear. So yeah, let me know what your star sign is. And like, let me know what you think of Capricorns. Like, does your star sign work with Capricorns? Cause that's me, I'm a goat. Honestly, like us Capricorns, we deserve a way better color than that. We deserve like that or that. See, so yeah, as you can see, you've got all the different shades here. You have one, two, three, four mattes, I believe, and then the rest are shimmers. Even looks like we've got, is this a glitter or is it just, oh? Oh my God. Huh? Look, I am a self-confessed fangirl of Primark eyeshadows, but these are actually really freaking good. Okay, that one looks a little bit chalky, but I want to swatch this color again, Scorpio. Look at that. That is insane. And now I don't know what to do with all this eyeshadow on my hand. Let's swatch that there. Wait, this is like, can you see? It's literally like thick. Is that a cream? I'm so confused. Why am I so easily confused? Oh God, I'm making, oh no. Oh God, give me a second. <laughs> What's happening? I feel like that's maybe a cream. That must be, huh? I don't know. I have no idea, but I like it. I really, really like that color. So I might put that all over my face. I might just whack like these two shades kind of all over my lids and just do something really, really smoky. First of all though, I'm gonna go in with this shade Libra on a, this is a dirty brush, I'm not gonna lie to you here. I'm not, I'm not gonna pretend it isn't, it's a dirty brush. And I'm just gonna run that in my crease, just a little bit. I'm actually gonna take a fluffier brush because I feel like this can be a lot more smoked out. But yeah, I am a big fan of a lot of Primark makeup to be honest, I really, really am. But I do feel like Primark do some pretty damn good eyeshadow palettes. Like that, blending out fine. Cool. So now I am just gonna go straight in with that Scorpion color. Just coat my brush in that. It is more of like a cream formula than anything else. I wonder how it'll apply with a brush. But I'm just gonna whack that all over my lid. Yeah, see, doesn't look that good with a brush yet anyway. But watch, I'll take my finger and I'm really not gonna take too much because I don't wanna have like, so you can see, got it there. And yeah. <laughs> that was like a nice look I just gave you the camera then. Hello. That is, you definitely wanna use your finger with that because that is nice. Wow. Why did that wow sound so fake? Wow, can't believe it. Right, I'm just gonna pop that all over my lid. This is just like the gift that keeps on giving right now. And once again, the middle finger is back. It's uh, just, it just happens naturally, you know? I then got a little bit too far down there. So I'm just gonna bring that back up. And then gonna go back in with that shade that I used in my crease and just get a little bit of a blend going on. Like that's literally all you need. That shade is it. Glad I took the executive decision to do my eyes first because there is a fair bit of fallout. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Cancer and make sure I take a good chunk of that there just because I want to put it on the outer corner just to give it a slightly different shift. I love how this shade here looks, Gemini. It looks like a really, really nice highlighter. Again, it's quite like bitty though. You can probably see there's like, there's just bits falling all over the place. But yeah, I'm just gonna pop that onto my brow bone. You all know the drill. The huge. Definitely got that all over my eyebrows, but it's fine. That's what we got the nice little spoolie for. I might even take a little bit of Pisces down here just cause it's a bit warmer and blend that in there as well. I am struggling to blend this a little bit. Luckily, I am doing something really, really smoky. So as long as it all just kind of blends together, it, it, you, it's fine, it's, no one's really gonna notice. But if I was doing something a bit more precise, then I would want them to blend together a bit more nicely. And then I think I'm gonna take Sagittarius and just pop a little bit of that on the inner corner because I'm probably gonna put that shimmer over the inner corner as well. So just bring that in a little bit like this. I mean, it does, it did look nicer on the swatch. I'm gonna take more of that blue just cause I want it to be popping. Like whatever they've done to this blue eyeshadow, 
it's really freaking nice when you use your finger. Okay, I know what you're thinking, Steph's about to go off camera, do the other eye, come back in a second, but how about this? That was so much easier, why have I not done that sooner? I thought it would work with the rest of my face. So, just did the other eye. I like the blue eyeshadow. The, it's just kind of blending all together. Like, I'm sure it'll look fine once I've sort of done everything else. But, on this occasion, like, the green, obviously I had a little bit of shimmer to the inner corner as well, but the green wasn't that pigmented. The browns, not that pigmented. Like, this one doesn't even look anywhere near as deep as the other one, so maybe I should fix that. Put a little bit more in there. So yeah, this blue shade, super intense, insane. Like, I would like a whole palette with this formula. So yeah, I mean, here's me saying that I normally love Primark eyeshadow palettes. That one, not, not so much. So next to my base, I'm gonna be going in with this concealer here. This is the My Perfect Color Soft Focus Concealer. I'm assuming this is supposed to be a dupe of the NARS one. I've got this in the shade Light Beige and this cost me £2.50. So I, ooh. Okay, hopefully you can maybe see the texture there. But I thought it was gonna be like a really, really thick cream, but it's actually quite gel-like. I'm gonna hopefully, hopefully it's not super thick. I'm not sure now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna sharpen up the outer corner there. Yeah, I'm just gonna place a lot of this down quickly. I'm not gonna conceal my whole face, but I do wanna get like a full idea as to how this looks, so. I'm gonna go to town with it a little bit. I'm just gonna blend that out with a brush. Oh, okay, that's actually nicer than I thought it was gonna be. It's got good coverage. Seems to blend out quite nicely. I mean, I would personally normally use a liquid concealer as opposed to something like this under my eyes, but this is all I've got today. But on some spots, for example, I feel like that would be really, really good for spot concealing. So, a couple up here. And I'm actually gonna do a bit of highlighting in the center of my head as well. I'm gonna go over a couple more areas of my face and then just kind of blend it all out and see how we look with that. Like it really is covering up a decent amount. I'm not mad on the texture, just like generally how it looks on my skin, it is a little bit thick, but again, it's like a cream concealer. So like, what, what would you expect? Okay. I wasn't minding it, like it was totally fine. And I obviously know you're not necessarily supposed to put this all over your face like I am right now. But I do feel like it is a bit heavy under my eyes. So I would probably say to mostly focus this on spots and stuff, because it does have a nice coverage, but it does also say on the pot that it's also for your under eyes. So I, for me personally, I wouldn't use this for my under eyes. I would maybe do a tiny bit like here, just to highlight it a little bit. But this is definitely more of like a spot concealing concealer, I would say, but it, it's not bad. But on my under eyes, I'm not convinced. I'm doing my makeup in the weirdest order right now, but now I'm gonna go in with this eyeliner just because I literally just picked it up and I thought, yeah, okay, let's go for it. However, why is there like glitter on it? It had the seal thing on it, the tube. I didn't do that. Has someone been having a little go on this somehow? So it looks like this. The liner formula itself is quite black, but it's also fairly sheer. So I would imagine you probably have to go over it a couple of times to make it super, super black. But all I'm really gonna be doing is a teeny tiny little wing. I don't think I like this. Yeah, it's bleeding already on me a little bit. I don't know if you guys will notice that, but I'm noticing it a little bit. And it's also not totally covering up the eyeshadow underneath. Like, it's quite easy to use, but it's not the best felt tip liner. I mean, it only costs £1.50. It's probably not gonna be the best, but let's try it on this eye. It's not the easiest thing to use. Like, it's quite a fine felt tip, but I don't know. It's like, it you can't really do that fine of a line. Yeah, it's not bad for £1.50, but honestly, like, I found Essence liners that are like, £2.50, £3 that are better than this, so I'd probably go for one of those. It's fine if you're in a pinch, you can do what you need to do, but it's not like I wouldn't, it's not like a bargain that I'm like, you need to get this, like, it, eh. So now for mascara, I have the False Lash Queen, and this was £3. I might jinx myself here because I seem to have done it throughout the whole of the video so far, but Primark mascaras are so good. Like, just go and try one. They're like £3, and honestly, Nine times out of 10, 
Primark mascaras are really good, but I did just open this up and it's a wand that like, I don't love. <laughs> oh. Hello. Well done. Well done, Michael. You ate your dinner. That was amazing. Okay, let's see what this is like. Yeah, Michael. The packaging kind of reminds me a little bit of Lash Paradise. Oh, okay. Took a second to get going. Like it wasn't picking my lashes up straight away, but now it's got a little bit of product on my lashes. It's doing something. Michael's just attacking the furniture. Don't mind him. Yeah. Not my favorite from Primark, I'm not gonna lie, but that, that's doing something. Like that is, I'm happy with that. Three pounds, I am, yeah, happy with that. You just need to make sure you give it a little wiggle to really pick up the base of your lashes and then go over a couple of times and yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so now I am gonna go off camera for a second just cause I am gonna add a little bit of shape tape, mostly just like around like my general face, I'm not gonna do under my eyes or anything like that. And I will probably also add a little bit of bronzer or cream contour or something. And then when I get back, I have this highlighter palette, this highlighter and this lipstick try out. So I will see you in a second. This video is all over the place. Thank you for bearing with me. Hopefully by the time I come back, I will have just put myself together a little bit more. Unlikely, okay, I'm, go, please just go. Like come back in a minute when I'm done. <laughs> All right guys, I'm back and as you can see, a little bit of bronzer, a little bit of more concealer and I also started to powder down my face and I don't know if you can tell in the macro, let me get like nice and close, but it it is kind of doing what I thought it would do. Not as bad as what I expected it to do, but by the time you powder it down, there's not as much coverage. It is a little bit more matte. You might be able to see here, look, as I kind of powder it down. It's just not as smooth as, I mean, like I said, I always use shape tape and shape tape is way nicer on my under eyes. My under eyes do not naturally look like this. Yeah, it just looks a little bit textured like on my forehead and stuff as well. It's not that bad, it really isn't. Like I actually quite like this concealer, but for my under eyes, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really use it. So now for highlighters, I have these two guys here because I swear I cannot go into Primark and buy just one highlighter, it is literally impossible. The first one I have is the Vacation Vibes. Uh, it says six luxury highlighter powders. This cost me six pounds and it looks a lot like, which one was it? There was an ABH palette, was it like with Nicole Guerrero? Might have been totally different colors, but the general layout is giving me ABH vibes. So we've got that, and then this one that I picked up the other day, this is the, it's just called the Pearl Highlighter, it cost me three pounds. They had a bunch of different colors. They have more like bronzy ones, more rose goldy ones, but I picked up, I think this is the lightest one. And this little shade up here, oh my God. I've tried highlighters like this before from Primark, and yeah, this is why I like Primark makeup. Normally, anyway. <laughs> Let's have a little swatch of some of these. So we've got After Dark, that looks really pretty and vacay, also very, very nice. Why do I only have one face? I'm gonna do this one first though, I think. I'm gonna take the lighter part and pop that on my cheeks. I thought this was gonna go on way more metallic, but actually, once I blend it out a little bit more, that has gone onto my skin so seamlessly, it doesn't look powdery. It doesn't look shimmery. It doesn't look like anything. It just looks almost kind of wet. That is actually really nice. Let's do some on this side. Yeah, I'm into that. Ooh, I'm into that. Then I'm just gonna dust off my brush on my hand for, oh my God. I can't honestly look at my hands. I'm just caked in that eyeshadow. So now I would love to try all of these, but I only have one little face. So I think I'm gonna go in with the shade After Dark and try some of that above my brow. Oh my God. Okay, so this one is more metallic and you can see it's a little bit more goldy. <laughs> Primark highlighters are good, I'm telling you. Maybe I'll try a little bit of vacay. I'm worried it'll be a bit too dark for me, but it's fine. So this you can see on the skin a little bit more, but it is more intense. But like, look at that. Guys, Primark highlighters are actually so good. 
So now I'm gonna take a little bit of this MAC bronzer. This is just my, give me someone. Just wanna blend that in a touch. Isn't it mad that this bronzer probably costs just as much as all the products that I put on my face? Yeah, blend myself up a little bit. So then last but hopefully not least, although this kind of product is something that I would never normally use, I have the Gloss Oil Stain. Nourishing Intense Color Oil with Hoba Seed Oil and Shea Butter. This cost me £2.50, they had a few different shades. I got this one, whatever this one's called, Trendsetter. That's me, that's, that's what I'm known for. Yeah, this kind of thing always concerns me a bit. Hmm. Smells good. I don't know if this is gonna necessarily do much. That is hella. Oh, I was gonna say that's like super concealer lip, but it's time for the brow pencil to come in handy. Before I do the rest of my face, I am going to use some of this. It might look, it might look terrible. I think it probably will. I think I need a darker lip liner. I'm like looking around right now, like do I have anything? Sometimes you gotta try these things. And sometimes you have to accept the fact that sometimes these things suck. Yeah, okay, that, that's kind of useless to me. I'm not gonna use my brows or my lips, so. I had to check like that Michael wasn't there. <laughs> okay, I have this lip liner from Technic. I might actually need something even darker than that because even though I've put that lip liner on, this stuff does, does wash you out quite a lot. This really is just like concealer lips in a lip gloss. I don't know how it's supposed to be a stain. Let's rub it away. Hasn't really stained anything. So I'm guessing it's just, I think it's just a gloss more than anything else. I think we need more going on on the lips because it actually, it fully does look like I've just put lip gloss over the top of my concealer lips. Um, okay. I'm going to take the headband off and see if it suddenly I become a goddess. It's not happening yet. Why isn't it happening? I don't think I like this gloss stuff. It's like, it feels comfortable enough, but it's like moving around on my lips quite a bit. Like it's not just staying opaque where I put it. And it's like, it's doing this. Do you see this? This isn't what I want. I'm just gonna, mm. I'm not so sure. It tastes really nice. I do appreciate the taste, but it just doesn't really look done, does it? I look like I've, I just kind of look like I've not finished my makeup. I think I have, haven't I? Put a little bit of blusher on maybe. Maybe that's what I need just to like look a bit more alive. I think it's the lips, isn't it? The lips are just like totally washing me out. Guys, what do you think? I feel, I actually quite like the eye makeup now. So like, I feel a little bit bad, bad mouthing that palette because the way that everything looks here, I don't mind it. I love the highlighters, obsessed with those palettes and this one here. And I don't wanna to touch my brows too much because I literally am covered in shimmer from that eyeshadow palette, but the brows have actually stayed in place. Like it actually, they are kind of stuck down a little bit. I don't know, I'm like, I kind of like it. I kind of, it's like it just needs something doing to it. Like maybe it needs false lashes. Maybe my brows need filling in a little bit more. Maybe I need better lip liner. I don't hate it which is always good. Uh, I feel like there's a couple of things that I tried today that were genuinely good. And there were definitely a few things that were a bit of a flop. Like I actually do think this concealer is pretty decent. I have like a love-hate relationship with this eyeshadow palette because I don't know, it's like, I actually don't mind how it looks, but it just wasn't the easiest thing to use. But I also really, really like this shade here. I like the mascara. I like the, the little brow kit actually wasn't bad for like how much it costs. It really wasn't bad. And the brow gel, Pretty good. And actually it's not often that I rave about a primer and I know it's early days. I know this isn't like a full wear test today, but I actually really, really quite liked how that looked on my skin, like without anything else on top. But even where I've put like the shape tape and stuff, it does look really, really nice. So I actually think that's pretty good. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. We had some hits, some misses. Let me know what you think of this makeup look in the comment section down below. Do you like this lip? Or do you think it is just a little bit too concealer lippy? Cause I would personally just do a way darker lip liner on the outside and just put that in the middle. 
Once again, guys, like I said at the start of the video, if there are any other brands or any other products you guys want me to try out, then let me know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time, which is literally like three, sometimes four videos a week. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye. I feel like I have lip gloss on my teeth. Pretty sure I did. Ooh, clicky.